Some fixtures do more than simply move intensity up and down, such as a moving light, which might have attributes like pan, tilt, a gobo wheel, or different colors. We call those multi-parameter devices. Let's look at how to patch those. Let's select a range of channels, 241 through 246. Press enter to select those. The next thing I wanna do is select the channel type. In the CIA, there's a type box. Let's click on that. And I wanna click on manufacturer on the bottom left here. This is gonna bring up a large library of fixture manufacturers. We'll find Martin. Over here in the main portion of the CIA, we're gonna get all of the Martin fixtures that we have in the fixture library. Let's look for Mac 250 wash. We want 16 bit. You'll notice that some of the tiles have blue letters and some have white letters. All of the fixtures with blue letters, that means that there's different modes to those fixtures. So our fixture does have two modes available and we want standard 16 bit mode. Now that we've selected our fixtures, we can tell the console the address of the first fixture and it's going to do a lot of math for us. So if we say add, these are in universe two, so I have to say two slash, and our first fixture starts at address 411. Notice that the console knows that each of these fixtures needs 13 addresses, and it assumes we want each subsequent fixture to start right after the previous fixture. So notice how on channel 241, it ends at address 423, and the next channel begins at 424. If you've addressed your fixtures in a way that might be a little easier to remember for your electricians, you can use the offset command. So if we say at two slash 411, offset is a soft key. We have to hit more soft keys and it's soft key five. And let's say you address them at every 15 addresses instead of every 13. That would be an offset of 15. Enter and I have to confirm that. Now notice that each one is starting 15 higher than the previous one. Next, let's patch a compound channel. A compound channel is a fixture that may have multiple parts, such as a color scroller or a gobo rotator attached to that fixture. 247 through 250, enter. We're going to patch the first part of that fixture, which will be the dimmer, and those are in universe two beginning at address 111. Now let's create the second part of that fixture, which is going to be our scroller. Part, two, enter. And I still have all of those fixtures selected, so it's going to create a part two on each of them. Now let's find our scroller. So we're going to click our type button again. And one of the manufacturers listed is generic, which if you can't find your fixture, this is a good place to start. And we're gonna look for scroller. There it is. And these are gonna begin at universe two, address 121, enter. Now you'll notice just looking at part two, we have address two slash 121, 122, and so on. It didn't change or interact with our part one addresses in any way. All right, we're gonna add one more part. Part three, enter. Now we're gonna use the search command. So I'm gonna click type. And instead of searching through manufacturers and fixtures, I'm gonna use our handy search button here and type in Roscoe Gobo Rotator. I've got two options here. The number in the brackets at the end, that's how many addresses the fixture takes up or its footprint. And we wanna use the to address version, so I'll double click that. Now I have our Roscoe Gobo Rotator over there. And to patch it, that's gonna start in universe two, address 131. And just like before, you'll see the addressing for part three does not interact or interfere with any of the other parts we've done already. At the back of your workbook, there is a patch exercise in appendix one. For some really good patching practice, why don't you pause this video and go and patch all of those fixtures and come back and join us.